Just seek the truth. That's what science is all about. It's about honesty and truth, and those are values that I'm all about. What's up? My name is Nick Wichman, and I'm out in Lompoc, California. We're about to go to the Vandenberg Air Force Base to connect with NASA and get a behind-the-scenes look at the pre-launch and launch of the ISAT-2 satellite. My story while I'm here is not about the satellite. I want to go deeper into the people. I want to learn what they're about, what drives them, what they love, what their passions are, and how they got here. I think that there's something special about being connected with the most incredible scientists and engineers in the world and getting to touch the edge of space. These people are the ones that kids dream about. That's my story. Let's go see the base. I just found homeboys. Okay, we've got like <laughs> 12 hours till this thing launches. We're breaking the barrier, man, going out to space. I started my career on the original ISAT mission, and then I was the lead of the Ice Bridge mission. So those are accomplishments that I'm very, very proud of, the, sure. the things that I've done on those missions. This mission, I'm more looking forward to what I can do rather than, than what's been done. I, I'm very proud of what people have done to get us to this point, and I, I hope to you know, make them proud for, for what they built. So I've been working for the last 10 years with polar ice cores. So these core samples that we drill through layers of snow and ice that can tell us about past climate. We can get information from each year of snow uh, going back up to 800,000 years. Satellites that, like ISAT-2 give us a uh, high resolution picture of how the ice sheet's behaving. So I care most about Antarctica because it's a big lump of ice that uh, uh, you know, if it all jumped into the ocean at once, it'd raise sea level globally by 60 meters. And when we see changes uh, in, in the surface height of the ice sheet from ISAT and ISAT-2, we know that something's going on. Um, there's some change and we want to go figure out what is causing that. You know, we're doing this research because we're fundamentally interested in it. We demonstrate that it matters in order to get support from taxpayer funded organizations. And um, so we do the research for people. So that's the big thing for me is I don't want to be working on science projects or doing private work that doesn't matter for people in a in a positive way so it's going to be a uh, bittersweet moment for me tonight when it lifts off i'm personally super excited uh, i've been built the program for a long time and um, you know i've been trying to not do this so we're standing from my from my perspective on the shoulders of giants here tonight as we go do this last launch right we been thousands of people that have worked on this program over the years to get us to the point where we're at. And tonight is going to kind of be the culmination of that, if you will, and the end of, a, of an era. The uh, vehicle's been probably uh, the most uh, reliable launch vehicle that the country has ever known. Go, 
It's amazing what mankind can do when we put aside our differences and right. decide to work together and achieve a goal. And it's just, it's yeah. awe inspiring. out there. I spent some time at the, uh, the eclipse in 2017. The energy in, in that event was crazy because we're all gathered together to see nature and our solar system align in a way that's really powerful. We have no control, but here we're gathered to see what humanity has done, what we have done, and that's a different kind of powerful. We're gathered in these stands back here. We're here to witness and marvel at what science and perseverance has put together to break out of the earth. It's really powerful. Yeah. And that's it. Sun goes down on California tomorrow, back in Portland. What a freaking experience. Take time for yourself. Don't neglect what you need. Go out and just watch the sun go down until there's nothing left. Wave goodbye, see you again tomorrow. It's not too bad out here. It's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs>